Okay, so everybody has been talking about CPU mining and the uh, big crypto coin of interest is Raptorium. So I'm just going to go through and download the wallet and download the miner and just see if I can do this. Um, I've done this before on Unminable for Dogecoin and Sheeb and stuff like that. So hopefully this is pretty straightforward. And I'm currently running on my gaming rig which has five GPUs and it's running in the background and this will be a nice test to see if it screws up performance or crashes the computer. <laughs> so let's just go, all right, so raptorium.com, go to downloads. Let's do the wallet first and it should do it. And we want to go over here and do, you want to do the win. For me, it's Windows 10, Windows, I'm running Windows 10, so I want 164 setup.exe. We're going to save this to downloads let that puppy spin I'm just doing this on the fly so if I miss any steps well make a comment but this will at least get you guys started that it's out there and it's doable hopefully all right I'm gonna click on this I always go show and finder just to see where the thing is and there it is I'm just gonna install this wallet oh yes let's see what happens next and it's going to stick in a program files. You guys see that? Okay. Raptorium core. Do it. Oh, there she goes. Extract. Dun, dun, dun. Let's see if this crashes my GPU computer. All right, next. All right, let's run it. And what's oh? This is, let's see if there's any problems. As this is the first time program is launched, you can choose where Raptorium core will store its data. All right, use the default data directory. I think I'm good with that. Uh, yes, I hope I'm good with that. There we go. Allow access. And it's going to go through and it's going to connect to the peers. A lot of these like Ravencoin Lite, all these wallets on your uh, desktops and uh, Redcoin, they all have the same software look and feel. It's the same thing. You're going to connect to the peers. You're going to uh, update all the uh, information in a local database, the blocks and all that stuff. And you'll see it go through. And if you ever bring it down and it's down for a period of time, it's going to do this each time just to refresh and update. But I think you can still process... We can get our wallet address. Uh, you get your sending, you get your receiving. And there's your default one. We can even make one if you want. And gives me this. Copy. Let's make sure I got it. So it's RPM6. I'm going through Google's remote desktop and it's a little bit slow. Okay, let's close that. That's still updating. Let's go back to Raptorium. Uh, where is Raptorium? Let's get the miner. CPU miner. And, ooh, there's a hot fix. Always make sure you get the latest. Oh, uh, well, let's do... I'm not Linux, I'm Windows, I'm AC64. I want this one. save that all right it's complaining you're gonna get that it's just protecting you I'm gonna keep and it's gonna now you want so I did I clicked on the right show more and I'm gonna say keep that dangerous file keep it there it goes and that is downloaded Click on that. That should be done. I don't know why that file is still there. We'll see how far we get. Extract. And wherever you want to stick this guy. I'm just going to stick it in the downloads. I don't know. I always use downloads. It just seems to be my go-to uh, point of reference on Windows. Let's see where we're at. And it made this guy right here. Okay. And there's a README. And there's a 
there's the bat file, there's the config file. Let's edit the config file. And all right, we give us what do they give us here? Stratum, it's Europe. I'm going to change that to US and I'm going to put my wallet in here and my worker name. So let's go to one thing at a time. Here is my wallet. Go back to config. Worker name. Hold on, one handed. Rocco Taco. Mining. Rocco Taco Mining. That's where's my dog at? Every time I do something with the dog's name, he's never around. All right, for this flock pole thing, let's go over to browser. And I'm sorry, I'm doing this remote desktop. It is sucking the wind out of it. So I went to flockpool.com and I clicked on start mining and USA, USA, USA. Um, I'm gonna do, I'm not west, I'm east coast. Let's see, I am gonna pick central. Why not? So it's gonna be us.flockpool.com. I just changed the first two, us.flockpool. Go back to my notepad. Wow, did I really screw that up? It's like a second second delay on this remote. So I got us.flockpool.com five 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 five. Man, we're going back to browser. Okay, so the secure port is 555, so that's the same. Okay. There we go, just double check. Okay, let's go back to Notepad. I did that. Oh, that's my backup then. Okay, US, flock pole, US, well, that's interesting. And there's my my wallet. I always go over and double check. I always double check. I'm all paranoid about these wallets. Uh, S, I always look at say 8Z, RQM. All right, looks good. All right. This is still updating, so it takes a while. Just set it and forget it. Come back later, look at it. So we're good to go here. Save it. <clears throat> I don't think tune, tune, tune. All right, tune. I know tuning takes a while. You let it run, and the thing auto tunes for you. I think. Again, I'm new to this, so just going through it. I'm just going to leave that alone. Now, okay, go to the README file in the CPU miner. Always look at the README file, and it's going to go through and tell you some stuff. The uh, on the uh, CPU's taking tuning uh, default tuning process takes approximately 69 minutes to finish. Uh, read about it, helps you understand what's going on. It's different from GPU mining. Uh, let's see, those AVX2 CPUs default tuning process takes up to 155 minutes. And there's some settings and all this stuff. And then down here at the bottom, down here at the bottom, it goes through the uh, binaries for the different processes. It talks about it. There's all these binaries out there in the, in the binaries folder. So we can go look at those. And if you look at binaries, there's all the binaries for it. So all these EXEs, you want to give admin privilege. So, all right, let's do let's do one more. You can tell you get a little yellow icon, shield icon, if you did it right. So properties, compatibility, error. Run this program as an administrator because these are binary executables, and they are customized for the CPU you are, that is on your board. So I did two. I should have read them all. I mean, I'm going to go through. I'm not going to bore you with these. Compatibility. All right. I think I'm okay. 
I'll do the first one just to make sure. I'm probably going to miss one I need, but uh, yeah. Again, all that's in the readme. I'm just showing you what, it, what to click on. All right, enough of that. All right, let's go back up. And CPU miner. Right click. Run that guy as administrator. Let's see what happens. Let's hope good stuff happens. I'm going to close this browser. I'm done with you. Oh, why did I get two? Oh, duh. Because I'm GPU mining. All right, what we got? Could not load tune config because that's going to take an hour or an hour and 50 minutes. Startup tuning, MSR set successfully. Good, good, good. Could not prepare huge pages. Might require admin removal. Oh. Could not prepare huge pages. Might require admin. So I have to figure out what, which one I'm running. AVX. AVX. AVX2. All right, I'm gonna have to go back and figure out which one I missed because I should not get that huge pages. Oh, it was six, I'm stupid. I'm sorry guys, you probably read that before me. Huge pages support was successfully enabled by system, re but system reboot is required to use it. Oh, that's what I missed. All right, so I'm gonna have to reboot the system. Interesting. All right, there it goes. So I'm gonna stop this and reboot. I hate it's gonna mess up my GPU processing, but. I just want to get this up and running so when I get back up in the morning, I can check it out. All right, that's all there is to it. I mean, download the wallet, get your uh, wallet address, set up the uh, JSON config file in the, um, the config.json file, set your wallet, set your uh, location, pull EU or wherever you're at, US, West or US, and uh, set those privileges, which I did because it was AVX and AVX2. And I just got to restart, like they said, and then I'll come back in and I'll run CPU Miner. All right, that's it. Go, go forth and do great things. Play around with this. Have fun with it and see what it can do. My big test, my big test now is can I run this CPU Miner um, while I'm doing GPU mining? Let's find out. <laughs> I don't know. All right, that's all I've got. This is kind of fun stuff, man. Playing around with this, it's kind of cool. All right, let me know what you think. I'm out. I got one last thing. Uh, go get your wallet address for Raptorium, copy it. We're going to go to flockpool.com. Flockpool. And you can paste your wallet. Boom. And it has my... Uh, wallet address on the end of the URL. So nothing there, obviously, because it's not really running. So that's how you can check. <clears throat> All right. And let's get this closed. It looks like we're looking good. AVX is set up. Should be able to. All right, GPUs are running. Let's do run as admin. Yes. Alright, no tune configs to be expected because it's going to take an hour or so. We went through this, could not find that. Okay, huge pages set up successfully. MSR set up successfully. Blah, blah, blah. Here we go. Hash, hash, hash. Alright. 